for joining my youtube channel my name is michelle if it's your first time in this channel thank you for passing by i hope you hit the subscribe button and another thing a great thing actually i would like to welcome all our new subscribers and i want to thank also my returning subscribers guys we've reached 100 i bought hey i'm in a rush the ladies in the rush we have reached 1k subscribers in only four months in only five months imagine and this is just the grace of god this is just the doing of the lord i truly appreciate your support i truly appreciate what you all are doing for joining my youtube channel thank you so much i wouldn't have came this far and have done this without you so you mean a lot to me thank you guys thank you so much please enjoy the next video where i show how i made the pencil skirts of which i truly advise that when you are trying to make the style you use a stretchy fabric because wow i tell you when you sew you sew it um on the edge of of what of where you left your sewing allowance if the fabric is not stretchy you won't move you will work like a robot like me so i advise for this style you use a stretchy fabric or unless you don't want it to be that tight you know but thank you for tuning in please 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 hit the subscribe button hit the notification button don't forget to like the video and to comment down below i truly appreciate your support thank you so much guys welcome to channel I'll be using a fabric that was left when I was making the mini skirts with the slits you can check on my channel you will see that this is the leftovers of the fabric that I'll be using today to create the pencil skirts though I would suggest that you use a stretchy fabric this one here has a little stretch so I suggest you use this we only one. need four measurements for this skirt we need the waist measurements waist to hip and hips and the length of the skirt so what i'll first mark the standard line or a basic line that will serve as my waistline i will divide my waist measurement by four and mark because my skirt has a dot i added one inch for the dot the next measurement i will take i will take the waist to hip measurement but i will leave two centimeter above the waist measurement the waistline so that i will use that two inch for the waist belt so now i've marked my waist to hip now i'm marking the um, hip measurement hips divided by four I am now marking my hip measurement divided by four and I will go straight to the waistline and I will leave the two inches outside the waistline to mark the skirt's length of which it's 27. I will draw a line across to create the length of my skirt now i will join the waist to my hip and my hip line to the length of the skirt since we are creating a pencil skirt i will come in by two inches on the length of my skirt and then I will connect the lines from my hip down to the length of my skirt to give that a little bit tightness around the knees though my fabric is not stretchy so I decided to come in by two inches now I will go back to the waistline what I will do I will measure my nipple to nipple measurement and that is 8 divided by 2 it gives me 4 so now i will mark that 4 
and that will serve as my dart so i came down by four inches and that is 10 centimeters and for the darts remember i left one inch so now i will use half inch both sides of the on the dart to create my darts and this will be it for my front piece I will then add one inch sewing allowance around the seam side. Thank you guys for your support. I truly appreciate. I've seen that we have reached 1k subscribers. If it went for you, I wouldn't have came thus far. I truly appreciate the support. I would like to welcome all my new subscribers to the channel. And I would also like to, like to thank everyone who has been with me from day one. I truly appreciate your support. So this is my front pattern. Now I'm going to use the front pattern to create the back pattern. So I went on on my back pattern i uh, have two pieces of fabric i first marked my waistline now i'm leaving the zipper allowance and now i'm placing my skirts then i'll just cut it as it eats oh my god i don't know but then let's continue it's fine Oh, forgive my voice i have a terrible flu i've been under the rock for such a long time so now I will transfer all my data to my back patterns. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free. It won't cost you a thing. And also to like the video. It helps me grow and to comment down below. It encourages me more. I'll pin down the zipper allowance and then I will take my back and my front pieces to my machine. What I will do there, I will sew down the darts. I do the same thing for the front. I'm going to use this to cut the waistband inches upwards for my waistband. I'm marking four inches. Four inches. I'm marking four inches and on here i made it unfold it's on fold marking four inches so i have to and what i would do is so I place it like this now i'm placing it like this so that I will know how to go on but I need to put it like this on fold like so and then place it like this and mark you see it ends here like this but you see I am heavy like this so what I will do I will mark what I have here and that is nine i'll come up here and mark nine inches i'm marking nine inches and i would use this yeah open my skirts like this i'll press down iron this and place it here like so and I will sew it down you see I'll first iron it and I will sew it down like this I'll do the same thing for the back so now I will just place it here and I will take it to my sewing machine and sew it down you can pin yours if you have to or you don't know how to do it but make sure it's aligned do it like this and go this i mark this as it will serve as my zip side and i'll take it down to the sewing machine and sew it and then the back parts i went to my sewing machine and this is sewed down so what i'm gonna do now mark 
how I want my sleeve, my slits to be long. So I will come down by. I want it to be seven, but this one inch here will leave will save is my hem line. So what I will do here, I will mark the seven. I will mark my seven. So here I will mark my zip. My zip measurement is twenty. So twenty, it's more like um this how long my zipper is so i'll make it i'll take this to my sewing machine and i will sew down here to close it off and i will then create my slit and i will come back here and add my zipper to create my slits my slit is here so now i've ironed down the zipper part so now what i need to do is to attach my zipper well by the way i don't have a new zipper of this color so what i did i took the zipper out of an old cloth so what i'm gonna do now i'm going to attach my zipper and then this will be it for the back let me go and attach my it's now in touch this is our skirts the slit is there the zip is there so now what i need to do is to place my front to place my front on top of my skirt place my front on top of the skirt and i'll take it down to the sewing machine I will then took it down to the sewing machine and I will sew it down here on the mat. We are almost done with our skirts. We have joined everything together. This is our skirt. The zipper is intact. And what left now is to hem. So for the hemming of the skirt, what I will do, I will hem by one inch. I don't even know why I'm telling it like so. I will hem it like one inch and i will hem it it's either you put the flat there i don't know what that is the spider web thingy to keep it intact or if you don't have it like me you use the straight stitch we have came to the end of our tutorial this is our skirt this is our skirt this is how it came out. In your life, until the night is over, I will hold you so tight, so tight, coming closer. Watch this video until this far i would like to say thank you so much for your support thank you for your love thank you thank you please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like to comment to hit the notification bell so that you'll always be notified once i post a new video thank you guys for your support i welcome all for my Ibo. What am I saying? I welcome I welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much. Your support is much appreciated. Thank you guys.